Students and faculty are mourning the loss of a 22-year-old Franklin Pierce University student who passed away late March 6, 2016. First time I met Dougie, um, I was walking down to Lakeview and he was coming back from Lakeview. I guess he had enough. Um, and he yells, are you Sam Hume? And I was like, yeah. Are you Dougie Segalo? And he goes, yeah. And that's really the first time we ever met and ever since we've been, we were best friends, so. I went to both memorials, the one here at school. Bill Beardsley actually talked at it, it was very nice. Um, Dougie's parents both came up and his extended family. There was nice songs that played, all of Dougie's favorite songs, Country Roads played, which is one of his favorite. Um, I also went to the memorial at the site, um, at the creek, and that's still up today. And everyone, it's really cool, there's so many different types of people that go to that site. Um, and that is something that will be up for the rest forever, forever. It will never go away and it's very nice and um, I'd advise everyone to go and just sit there and talk to them. So. Many students gathered to the spot just off campus where Doug had passed and have placed memorials next to the river where his body was found. Uh, Jim Earl, uh, Vice President of Student Affairs and a student uh, were in touch with me about it when things like this have happened on the campus before they turn to the campus minister to help out uh, in the grieving process and to create a ceremony of memory for the students. Students and faculty held memorial services on campus and off. The parents the family was invited and the whole community. Conservatively, I would say 220 or probably more. So as a hockey player, Dougie was just kind of an all-around player. Like hustle, heart, grinder, a little bit of a goal scorer. He had some skill set, but for the most part, he's like heart and soul. When I took over coaching in February, it was against Andover, and uh, I was nervous. And I was doing the pregame speech, and then Dougie was in there, and I was giving the speech like probably just like this, like nervous. And he's looking at me, being like, "We got this. Yeah, I got this." And that game, Dougie went out and scored two goals. And one of the biggest things was he went out there and he blew a skate, and he had to wear size ten and a half skates. It was like two sizes too big, and. Uh, he went out and scored like one of the nicest goals he scored all season, like ripped it top shelf. The moment when things like you're like, I don't know how this season's gonna go, Dougie's just like, we got this. And the big thing is like the overarching thing, he's like never mean, like his jokes are never mean. You see him in like every picture, it's like he's by people like giving thumbs up. It's never like, you know, you see a lot of teenagers like giving a finger or like, you know, being aggressive. It's like he was always comforting, friendly, you know? So I think that's what's like, everybody felt like, I guess the way Doug made you feel is like always good about yourself and like everybody and I think that's why like everybody felt so close like when you go to the funeral like it's like everybody felt like a huge loss it was kind of like it was pretty upsetting. Euseglio is survived by his mother Michelle, his father Gary and his younger sister Julia Fournier. Dougie will leave behind his enthusiasm, love of life and caring attitude to the countless Franklin Pierce students and faculty. His memory will forever live on at Franklin Pierce University.